who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High who is my refuge, no evil shall be allowed to befall you, no plague come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against the stone. You will tread on the lion and the adder. The young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him, because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. And then, man, another day that we, um, with thankful hearts, that he has been with us throughout the week. Another day for us to give him back all the praise and honor. So, may I encourage everyone to stand and let's go ahead and um, give all our give our praises to our Lord and Savior Jesus.
you, Lord, for, for your goodness, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And we worship you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good afternoon, everyone. For Holy Communion, today I would like to share the verse from Matthew, chapter 26, verses 28, 26 to 28. And this is what it says. While they were eating, Jesus took bread and gave thanks and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. And then he took the cup, gave thanks, offered it to them, saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood. my blood of the new covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins what I want to share with you right now is what is the new covenant that Jesus was saying this is the blood of the new covenant which is poured for you for the forgiveness of sins the essence of the new covenant is actually found in Hebrews chapter 8 but most of all, in, in verse 12, it says, For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and lawlessness I will remember no more. That is the essence of the new covenant. God has shed his blood for us to cleanse our sins and, the, and will not remember them anymore. He has made us righteous, not for anything that we have done, but because of his great love. And so as we partake of this bread and this cup, we will remember that this is what we will live by. We have been forgiven of all our sins and unrighteousness. He, has not, he does not remember it anymore. And that's why his grace is here flowing onto us. It is abundant. It is always there. All we need to do is believe and trust it's not just believing but trusting in God's love for us and so as we partake of this bread and this cup let us give thanks to the Lord and delight in him in the grace that he gives us because in delighting with him we give him praise let us partake of the bread and the cup Lord, we give you thanks and we give you praise for you're always good and thank you that you love us. We will live in the abundance of your grace, Lord, because that's what you've given us all the days of our lives. We will depend on it. And we want to say, to God be the glory.
Amen. <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory for all the things that He has done. With His blood, He has saved me. With His power, He has raised me. You know, uh, because of who you are. And I thought na dun lang ako magbemeditate, tapos biglang, um, indeed, napapakanta ka na rin eh. I mean, like, while you're singing, because of who you are, I give you glory. Mapapakanta ka rin ng God, you're so good, you're so good to me. And take note, ano, take note of the choice of words of the songwriters. Ano po? Anong sinabi niya? Because of who you are, I give you glory. Right? It's not about, I mean, we weren't, the lyrics of the song is not because of what you've done. Right? Primarily, it's because of who you are. Right? And second, anong sinasabi natin? Anong kinakanta natin? God, you are so good. You're so good to me. It's not, we don't sing, God, you do good. Although He does do good to us, we recognize the difference between who He is and what He has done. You see the difference there? Nakikilala natin ang Panginoon. Yes, we get to know Him according to what He has done. But in the process of us meditating about what He has done, nakikita po natin ang totoong nature po ni Lord. All right? In other words, what am I saying? You can't say na, God, you're so good without recognizing the goodness that He has done. And then you cannot recognize the goodness that He has done without recognizing that He is good. Kaya po ang sinasabi po natin, when we talk about the gospel, we are not merely talking about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are not merely talking about the gospel of Christ's finished work. We are talking about, the. I mean, this is the gospel of Christ and His finished work. If you're having trouble getting to know who the Lord Jesus Christ is, take a look at His finished work. If you are, if you, if you are, um, if you're having trouble recognizing the, the effects of, of Christ's finished work, go back to His nature. They, you, hindi mo pwedeng ihiwala yung dalawa eh. Are you guys with me so far? I mean, I wanted to share this before I go ahead and just waste 20 more minutes of your time. I just wanted to go ahead and say that to you first. If you're, again, let me just reiterate. If you are having trouble recognizing how good God is in your life, remember what He has done for you. And if you're having trouble appreciating what God has done, to you, done for you, remember who He is. Because you cannot, you cannot separate His glory and goodness from what He has done. And vice versa. Okay? So Heavenly Father, we praise and glorify your name. And we thank you so much that you are here with us this afternoon. Thank you so much, O Lord God. We have a lot of ground to cover. But we're just so thankful, O Lord Jesus, that now and forever, you remain faithful to us. Yes, you have done good for us, but you are good to us as well. Minister to my brothers and sisters here and to my brothers and sisters watching online and all the families that we represent now and forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We talked about Psalm 107 the last time that I was talking here. Ano po? And what did we establish? We went through each verse. May pattern po yun eh. Kapag nabasa niyo po yung Psalm 107, may pattern po yun. May describe po ng psalmist kung ano yung, pinag, uh, yung mga iba-ibang um, situations, kung ano yung pinagdadaanan ng mga tao, right? But yung pattern dun is, they called out to the Lord for help. And then, and then sa pinakahuli, ang sasabihin nila dun, let us give the Lord our praise. Or actually, ano yung nakasulat dito? Let, us, let them thank the Lord for His steadfast love, for His wondrous works to the children of men. Now, we talked about two things. I remember kasi nawalan po if you feel lost, remember that Christ 
Not, not only did he say that he is the truth, not only did he say that he is the life, but he is the way. If you are feeling lost in any particular situation, call upon the name of the Lord who is the way for you. Amen? And as we keep on going down, we remember, I mean, like, there, are, there may be times that you may be feeling hungry, literally hungry, like my team is. They are 24-7 hungry. But the thing is, the rest of you guys, you may feel hungry not just in your stomachs, but in your souls and your minds as well. At any time that you do feel hungry, remember that you have the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the bread of life. And if you feel thirsty, by the way, He is also the water of life. And if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, not only will you be filled with living water, but out of your bellies shall gush forth streams of living water. Not only will you be satisfied, my friends, but you will be also given new mics. Are you with me so far? It's a miracle, you know? I mean, all of a sudden, I have a, I have a wire. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> If you're lost, Christ is the way. If you're hungry, Christ is the bread. If you are thirsty, Christ is the water. You with me so far? But back in the day, take note, they had to cry out to the Lord, and the Lord answered them. But here we are right now. The Lord has already provided for us everything that we need before we even ask for it. It's just a matter of us remembering who the Lord Jesus Christ is, and number two, what He has already done for us. And as we feel hungry, I, I, I feel I need to point this out. As we feel hungry, let us remember that Christ is the bread. As we are thirsty, let us remember that Christ is the water. Okay, I mean, you, I mean, you wouldn't immediately feel in your body and your senses, na, ah, I feel satisfied. But you know what I mean, guys. This is the Lord Jesus Christ who answered our prayers, not according to what we expect, but according to His wisdom and power. We'll, I mean, try to put it together. It's okay. Let's just, let's just allow the Holy Spirit to minister to our hearts and our minds as we keep on going down the Word. Recap pa lang to. Okay lang pa ba kayo? Are you guys with me so far? All right. You're lost, you're hungry, you're thirsty. But like, like say, for example, if we keep going down the verse or the Psalm, Psalm 107, it also has, it also pointed out that there were also people who felt condemned. There were also fe people. There were also people that felt imprisoned. And there were also people who felt trapped. But what did they do? They raised their volume and cried out to the Lord. And when they cried out to the Lord, guess what? The Lord Jesus Christ, He went ahead and answered. I mean, in their day and in our day as well, if we do feel the same thing, condemned, trapped, and imprisoned, we can go ahead and put our trust in the Lord Jesus Christ who is the fulfillment of the prophet Isaiah. You remember what he said in front of the Pharisees and in front of the scribes in Nazareth. When he said, and he was quoting the book of Isaiah, Behold, I have come to set the captives free. And today, that prophecy has been fulfilled. My brothers and sisters, if you feel condemned, or if you feel imprisoned, or if you feel trapped of addiction, or if you feel trapped of in, in any situation where you don't see any way out, call upon the name of the Lord. Because He will set you free one way or the other. And He will guarantee that you will be set free. Are you with me so far? So what are we talking about? Are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you lost? Are you condemned? All of it? Who said that? God bless you, Jesus. It says here in Psalm 107, verse 17 and onwards, it says, Some were fools and through their sinful ways. I mean, some were fools through their sinful ways. And because of their iniquities suffered affliction. They loathed any kind of food. And they drew near to the gates of death. And then, then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from their distress. He sent out His word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Let us thank the Lord for His steadfast love, for His wondrous works to the children of man. And let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, and tell of His deeds in songs of joy. Friends, as we go down this, this wonderful and exciting adventure of our reality in this world. Ano ho? Um, hindi po maiwasan na magkakamali po tayo eh. We will make our mistakes. Some of the mistakes that we will be making are probably of our not, uh, are, are not of our own choosing. And sometimes we would be will, willfully sing, sinning. But guess what? Every action that we have in this world has its consequences. And we have to understand that, that you know, hindi tayo exempt 
Like say, for example, if we call ourselves the body of Christ, that does not exempt us from suffering the consequences of our mistakes in this finite world. I need to go ahead and, re I, I need to go ahead and just drive that to our heads right now. But here's the thing. We can still, even in that state, just like these people who are suffering the consequences of their own sins, of not listening to the Lord and following their own advice, they cried out to the Lord themselves. And what happened? The Lord sent out His Word, and He still healed them, and He still delivered them. All right? So let me go ahead and just point that out. If you're hungry, if you're thirsty, if, you, if you're lost, the Lord, the Lord has given you Jesus Christ. If you feel condemned, if you feel imprisoned, if you feel trapped, the Lord has given you His solution in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you feel, and here's the thing, what I'm trying to say here is that if you feel regret, even if it's something that you've done 5, 10, 15 years ago, that's still hounding your hearts even right now, you have to understand that in your suffering, the Lord Jesus Christ is with you. He understands what he, you are going through and He will bear your burden with you. And in fact, that's where he says, that's where we go ahead and um, listen to his words and appreciate his words when he says, cast your burdens upon him. Those of you who are heavy laden, because I know for a fact that the past can be such a heavy burden. My brothers and sisters, I have to give recognition to, to our mothers here. You've had, you guys are twice or thrice my age. And no doubt, you guys have had a lot of burdens coming your way. I binuking ko ba? Sorry. So no, but you look my binola pa kita. But the thing is, nawala yung flow ko. Um your burdens, no doubt, friends and those of you, those of you here who are young like me, respect your elders because they have made a lot more mistakes than you have. Hindi baling mas matanda sila sa inyo. Hindi yun yung advantage nila. Yung advantage nila is they made more mistakes than you have and they're still alive giving you advice today. And part of that is them bearing, your bur bearing their burdens, some of the burdens that we may never imagine. But praise God because as we see these, as we see our mothers and our fathers, our kuyas and our ates, we are also seeing their God's faithfulness in their lives as well. Buhay pa sila. And they're being kept. And not just buhay, pero buhay na buhay. Sila nga na, I mean, di ba nga, ano yung pwede kong sabihin na parang, okay, if you're hungry, go to your mama Josie. <laughs> Plug yan. Amen. Di ba, ano yung sinasabi, ni, ano yung sinasabi natin, mama Josie? I can see in you the glory of our King. Magpakain ka man nga, Rod. Okay. <laughs> Amen. Are you guys with me? Friends, recap lang to. Pahabol lang to. I'm not even in my message yet. Okay lang po ba yun? Anyway, tuloy lang po natin. If we go down and if we continue down the road of Psalm 107, I mean verse 23 and onwards, nakasulat po dito. Some went down to the sea in ships doing business on the great waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, His wondrous works in the deep. For He commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. They mounted up to heaven. They went down to the depths. Their courage melted away in their evil plight. They reeled and staggered like drunken men and were at their wit's end. Sounds familiar. Maybe not. But let me go, let's go ahead and talk about that later. But actually, you know what? Look, stay, stay right there. What we're trying to point out here is that as we go down this road and as we go down this world and as we go down this life, lumiliit po tayo eh. I mean, have you ever gotten that feeling? I have, a, I have, I, I'm expecting po, like say for example, kapag umalis ako dito sa good news for like five years and I come back here, biglang masasabi ko na, but, but parang lumiit ang good news. Guys, that's the thing. What's happening here is that we... The thing, our perspectives, ourselves, as we go down this, this wonderful adventure we call life, we find out in the great mountains and in the deep seas, 
we find out, number one, it, as we behold all of creation, the vastness of the skies, the beautiful sunrise and the beautiful sunset, we realize, number one, we are very small. And number two, God is very big. Right? But in our realizing of how God is so big, kuminsan kasi nagiging reckless po Doon natin makikita when our own lives are being threatened by, the nat- by nature which God has created. Doon po natin nakikita, again, we are so small and God is so big. Have you ever gotten, gone through that in your own lives? I mean, some of us, sa Pilitan, we had to go, go to other places in order for us to work. At doon natin nakikita yung parang, hindi lang yung creation ng Panginoon, pero we see the human nature. We see human nature unfold. How corrupt people can get or how good people could be, right? And it's all so overwhelming. Again, I want to go ahead and give a shout out to those who are elder, those of us who are older, those of you who are older, because you have seen in your life, not only have you experienced it, but I'm pretty sure that you have also seen the goodness of God and not just the goodness of God, but the greatness of God, the bigness, the hugeness, the enormity of God, have you not? Right? Again, listen to your elders. My gosh. And in that process, ma- maaari pong ma-overwhelm po tayo. But even in these times that we feel overwhelmed, again, let's go down the line again. Sorry, paulit-ulit na. Are you hungry? Jesus. Are you thirsty? Jesus. Are you lost? Jesus. Are you condemned? Jesus. Are you trapped? Jesus. Are you suffering the consequences of something that you've done? Jesus. Now, are you overwhelmed? Jesus. Amen? And let's go, I mean, let's just go ahead and wrap it up all right there. And let's just go ahead and say, let them thank the Lord for His steadfast love, for His wondrous works to the children of man. Um, Yeah, thank you for keeping up. Let them extol Him in the congregation of the people and praise Him in the assembly of the elders. Friends, call upon the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteous run into it and they are saved. Whatever you're going through, that's a guarantee. You with me so far? Now let's go to Psalm 20, my friends. It's the middle of the year. And uh, actually not the middle of the year. We're, we're halfway through. We're halfway through the month before we come to the halfway point of the year. Para lang, para lang specific po tayo. Matanong ko lang po kayo, ever since we started this year, ever since we started 2022, hindi ako makapagantay before, I mean, I couldn't wait for June eh. Gusto ko na kayong tanungin ngayon, kamusta na ba kayo? Mama Josie, alam ko na yan, pero kamusta na nga ba kayo? Better? Looking Better? Better things are coming, Mama Nitz says. Mama Josie will always remind us we are so blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved by God. How is everyone else? You know what? Regardless of what you're going through, I'm taking this time for us to just, I want to speak a blessing towards each and every one of us. And in the process, I want us to, I want us to realize, or I want to just try to share my mind about what's been going on as I, as I kept writing about Psalm 20. But let's go ahead and start here. Psalm 20, verse 1 and 2. It says here, and receive this for yourselves, because I mean this for you guys. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the Lord God, may the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. Now here's the thing. Let's go back to that first line. It says, he, each tear that falls. The main, the, the thing there is he sees you and he hears you. Yes, that's the point of the song. And that's what I was trying to tell not just you mothers, but all of us during that time. Correct? But here's the thing. When you look at that verse, it says there, may the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. My friends, I'm here to go ahead and say that not only does the Lord hear you from the high heavens, but he answers you as well. Do you see the difference in the choice of words here? Because he could go ahead and just say, may the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. He answers you, my friends, 
And it may not necessarily, again, let me just go ahead and specify here, it may not necessarily be the way that you want it. You ask the Lord for a billion dollars, He will not give it to you right, right then and there. There's no guarantee. Right? But what I will guarantee is that in His wisdom and in His power, He will answer you. And all the time, all the time, all the time, His answer for you is going to be greater, absolutely greater than anything that you could ever imagine. It's the best. We think we can answer better or we think we know better, but God knows best. Somebody put that somewhere. We think we know better, but God knows best. It's a nice line. Yeah? Cheesy. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. Our reputations may be compromised during these days and we would, be, we would cringe and we would... Um, I mean, it's, it's my fear actually to be humiliated publicly. I know, Paul. But here's the thing. We give thanks to God because why does He answer us? Because, I mean, sometimes He probably doesn't even need to answer us because we are in the body of Christ. And knowing that we are in the body of Christ, guess what? When we feel humiliated, it's as if God and Christ is being humiliated as well. And God is not going to leave you alone. You guys with me? And here's the thing. You don't need to go ahead and stand. Sometimes, especially if, like, say, for example, the odds are against you, na kahit anong defense mo sa sarili mo, kahit anong sasabihin mo, kahit anong response mo, you would still feel accused. But we remember that the name of the Lord is also with us just as our names are stuck to us as well. That's how close the Lord Jesus Christ is to us. Sometimes we don't need to go ahead. We don't need to defend ourselves. Maybe sometimes we just need to sit down and let the Lord do the defending for us. May the name of the Lord God and may the name of the God of Jacob protect you. Why does it mention the God of Jacob? And I'm just going freestyle here because I didn't write this down. But why did it, why did it, why did it say, may the name of the God of Jacob protect you? You only have to understand that Jacob was not necessarily the most blessed of people in the Bible. In fact, if you go through the Bible and, and you go through the men and the women of, ba of the Bible, you'll find out that God ministered to murderers, God ministered to killers and assassins, God ministered to adulterers. And Jacob was necess not necessarily a pure person. But the thing about it is, we need to understand the plight of these people because when we see how, we see how absolutely corrupted they are, and when we see how great the Lord has redeemed them, si Lord ang glorify So I don't know what you guys are going through. But you need to take heart because the same God, the same God who has protected and saved David, Moses, Elijah, is the same God who takes care of you. Amen? Amen? Amen. Let's keep going. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. And to my understanding, the word sela over there is where you stop and meditate, right? And I certainly did some meditating here because when we talk about, like, say, for example, here's one thing I want to share here. When, when, I came, when we came to this verse, may, we rem may he remember all of your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. One thing that came in, the first thing that came into my mind was, yung mga, we talk about the Old Testament and we talk about the Old Covenant. We talk about the Levites when they were offering, when they were making offerings, when they were, um, they, they were burning sacrifices on the altar. Napaka metikuloso po nila. Ano yung ginagawa nila? Before they, even, before they even consider butchering the animals, the bulls and the goats, sinecheck pa ho nila yon. And you know, you, you hear me say this, especially when we talk about communion, we talk about this so many times. Talaga pong itse-check nila yung mga, mga, sasabihin ko, tama ba? Itse-check nila mga hayop. Totoo ba yon? I mean, is that the right choice of words? Ani oh, sige, fine, English. Animals. All right, God. I mean, God. The Levites would check the animals and make sure that they are without blemish. They are without discharge. They are without. You know, they're not. They're not corrupt, because the sacrifice needs to be pure. Pero so much attention was given towards yung mga methods natin. We needed to make sure that we. I mean, 
you know, napaka, like I said, napaka metikuloso. What, what, what did they used to say? They used to say na dun, dun po sa templo, wala pong mga upuan dun. You know why? The priests were always moving. They were always busy. They were, there was always a sacrifice to be made. Okay? Keep that in mind. You see how, you see how they, they were, they were, they had, may, may standard operating procedure na po sila. Okay? I'm also reminded of like, say for example, let's go way back. Let's go to the Garden of Eden. Pag-usapan natin. I mean like, you remember in creation, you remember God created the heavens and the earth and then Adam and Eve came and then the fall happened and then Adam and Eve, they, 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 they knew each other and they had two children. What were their names? Cain and Abel. Hello? Cain and Abel, right? Right. Now what happened here? They, they were asked, or they offered sacrifices to the Lord. One, one person's offering was accepted, and the other person's offering was rejected. And you know what? Here's the thing. Cain, I'd like to imagine na si Cain ang sama ng loob niya siguro kasi sa kanya yung, uh, yung sacrifice na hindi tinanggap. Right? So I would like to imagine what was going through his mind. What did I do wrong? What was I doing wrong? And then sa, sa, sa gulo ng utak niya, he got very frustrated and then out of his anger, he killed his own brother. You see here, much, much attention in the methodology, much attention in, 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 the, in how you should offer the sacrifice, much attention in that. But here's the thing, kahit na po, like say for example, in this day and age, kapag sinusundan pa rin po natin ng Old Covenant, Kahit na sabihin mo na perfect tayo sa procedure natin, kahit na sabihin mo na perfect tayo sa methodologies natin, we would still need to keep on offering day in and day out. You want to know why? Because again, what does it say in the Bible? The blood of bulls and goats will only cover our sins for a season. Alright? My friends, we have it all wrong here kasi. Our focus should not be on how we offer the sacrifice our focus should not be on how we offer Himself as a sacrifice. He did not come to offer the sacrifice. He did not come to show us how to offer the sacrifice. No, my friends, He Himself became our sacrifice. And because it's the Lord Jesus Christ who offered Himself up, because it was the Lord Jesus Christ who laid His body down as a sacrifice, Therefore, there, were no, there was no more need for any more sacrifice to be made. A perfect sacrifice for the entire world, as the Anglican Church would like to say. Let's go back to that. What does it say there in that verse? So when we say, this, when it says here, may we remember, may he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices, that has already been done in this day and age when we recognize Christ and His finished work. We understand that when we cry out to the Lord, when we give our own offerings of, of, of praise, when we go ahead and shout out to the Lord, the Lord will remember. And when we go ahead and worship the Lord, He will regard us with favor. Why? Because the Lord Jesus Christ served as the once and for all offering for all of us. And because the Lord Jesus Christ served as the one, once and for all sacrifice for all of us. So go ahead. Don't be scared. Run to the throne of grace with your petitions. Call out to the name, call out to the name of the Lord. And He will answer you according to His power and His glory and His peace. Amen? What a good and great God we have. You see here, that's the thing. I mean, when we talk about salvation, actually, let's, let's, let's keep on going. What's next? May He grant you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout out, I only have five minutes, don't I? <laughs> yeah, let me end with this. May we shout out for joy over your salvation and in, the name of our God, and in the name of our God, set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all of your petitions. Friends, if there's one thing that I want to go ahead and say here is that, no una sinabi ko po, no I mean, before, I, before we went down Psalm 107 and before we went down Psalm 20, ano yung sinabi ko? Na we, would, we, we, we need to appreciate God for who He is. Kaya natin kinanta yung Lord, I worship you because of who you are. Right? 
Kaya rin natin kinanta yung God, you're so good. It's not God, you do good, but God, you're so good. So there is pleasure and there is goodness for us. There is certainly good that would happen to us if we just sit down and remember who God is. I hope the point that you guys got as I was going through Psalm 107 and Psalm 20 is that God also does good for you. So God is good and God does good for you. And here's the thing. I mean, it's like, it really depends on what you're, whatever you're going through. If you feel sometimes, if you're out of words, then you go ahead and remember that God is good. But also, if in those times that you want to just go ahead and let it all out, that you're so full of anxiety, just, just, go, ahead and go, just go ahead and let it all out to the Lord as well. Because just as God is good, you also know for a fact through all these verses that God does good for you as well. My friends, we are bold to say all of these things because again, Jesus Christ did what, we, what He had to do for all of us. And it was not because He felt obligated to do it, but it was His pleasure to save us. My friends, that's why we shout for joy over our salvation. This is not just you go to heaven when, my gosh, are we past that? Can we move on from that? Can we move on from the salvation that just says that when we die, we go to heaven? Can we understand that the salvation that we have is Jesus Christ paying such a great price that we can enjoy eternal life right here, right now in this fallen world? Can we understand and shout for joy over this salvation that allows us to remember that no matter what we are going through, God is for us and He is not against us and He is with us 100% of the time, never failing, never moving away. He is with us and He will never forsake us. That's the salvation that we have here, my friends. That's the salvation that we have. It's something that we don't just enjoy in the future, but it's a, it's a salvation that, that is glorified in our past and is guaranteeing our future, future, and is with us right here, right now. And let us set up those banners. Let us go ahead and proclaim as we celebrate the finished work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the world see our celebration. Let them see our banners and let them draw to us and let us go ahead and be ready with a worthy testimony to tell them about how good God is for them as well. Celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ. Be ready with your testimony because it's a guarantee. The more you celebrate the Lord Jesus Christ, the more you shine the light of God in this world. Many people who are still in the darkness will draw to you because that's how we are. We draw to the light. Go ahead and share to them who is your light. Go ahead and share to them who is your bread. Go ahead and share to them who is your water. Go ahead and share to them who is your freedom. Go ahead and share to them who is your peace. Go ahead and share to them who is your power. That's the salvation we have, my friends. Amen? Amen? Have you been blessed? Well, I think I'll stop there. I think I'll stop there. Heavenly Father, we praise you. We thank you. We glorify you. Father, it is my prayer, my prayer for each and every one of us, regardless of how old or how young we are, that we would see and appreciate your salvation, that we would see and appreciate who you are because of how you have saved us, and we would see and appreciate how you have saved us because of who you are. We want to thank you, O Lord Jesus Christ, because you show yourself as faithful to us, yes, faithful even towards me. In spite of all of the mistakes that I've done, O Lord Jesus Christ, you still allow me to go ahead and profess and confess and proclaim your goodness in this life to my brothers and sisters here and those watching online. My brothers and sisters, I pray and I declare towards each and every one of you that the Lord move specifically in your lives, that you would see the greatness and goodness of God for yourselves in this week and every other week that follows to the end of time and beyond. And so we give you all the glory, O Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that you have ministered to us yet again. 
We continue to praise and glorify you. Give us a good week ahead, O Heavenly Father. Bless us, bless our families. We lift all of our plans. We lift all of our grievances and anxieties unto you, knowing that you are always thinking about us. We give you all the glory, for you alone deserve it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Give him a clap offering in this place. And as usual, guys, I mean, if you guys want to go ahead and give, you guys over here, the box is over there. You guys want to give online, we're going to give you the bank details really quick. Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon each and every one of you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you His perfect peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go ahead and worship the Lord, my friends.